USA, China, the UK, Russia, Italy, Sweden, Japan, Germany, Spain, and France have all declared the development of a sixth-generation aircraft. Today, we'll give you some updates on the list of all sixth-generation fighters. So let's get to it. Global Combat Air Program (GCAP). Both BAE Systems Tempest and Mitsubishi FX have been merged together into Global Combat Air Program. The program aims to replace the Eurofighter Typhoon in service with the Royal Air Force and the Italian Air Force, and the Mitsubishi F-2 in service with the Japan Air Self-Defense Force. On December 9, 2022, the governments of Japan, the United Kingdom, and Italy made an announcement regarding this merger. In Japan, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries will be the prime contractor, with IHI Corporation handling the engines and Mitsubishi Electric handling the electronics. In the UK, BAE Systems will handle the aircraft, Rolls-Royce the engines and Leonardo UK the electronics. Leonardo SPA and Avio Aero will participate in the development from Italy and MBDA will also participate in the missile development. By around 2024, detailed development and cost-sharing for each company will be clarified and production will begin around 2030 with the first aircraft to be deployed in 2035. The Future Combat Air System FCAS. This is a European combat systems of systems. On 16 December 2022, the Salt Aviation, Airbus, Indra, UMET, and their industrial partners have been awarded the contract for the Future Combat Air System Demonstrator Phase 1B by the French General Directorate for Armament. This landmark contract, amounting to 3.2 billion euros, will cover work on the FCAS demonstrator and its components for about three and a half years. The FCAS will consist of a next-generation weapon system as well as other air assets in the future operational battle space. The NGW's components will be remote carrier vehicles as well as a new-generation fighter, a sixth-generation jet fighter that by around 2040 will replace current Francis Rafael's, Germany's Typhoons, and Spain's EF-18 Hornets. A test flight of a demonstrator is expected around 2027 and entry into service around 2040. The J-28 on social media, Chinese military aviation industry has been posting concept art for a future stealth fighter. While such computer-generated designs are far from finalized, one thing is certain. China's sixth-generation stealth fighter will most likely be a tailless one, just as America's next-generation air-dominant stealth fighter appears to be. According to China's military aviation expert Andreas Ruprecht, credible rumors suggest that the fighter project will enter service around 2035. If the Chinese adhere to that timeline, the first flight could take place as early as 2026 to 2028. The Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC, posted a video on January 31, 2023, featuring CGI concept art of a hypothetical sixth-generation stealth fighter. The twin-engine jet fighters portrayed had low reflective diamond-shaped wings like Northrop Grumman's promising YF-23 Black Widow demonstrator fighter a blended wing body configuration and no tail. The Mikoyan MiG-41 Pak DP The Moscow-headquartered aerospace giant Mikoyan MiG, which has been working on the design of the new stealth aircraft since 2013. Little is known about the sixth-generation stealth interceptor, but according to reports, Pak DP is planned successor to the prolific Soviet MiG-31 aka Foxhound interceptor. PAC stands for Perspectivny Aviastiony Complex, or Prospective Air Complex. According to Colonel General Viktor Bondarev, PAC DA will not be able to enter service until 2025. Avia, a Russian media outlet, says the first flight should take place by 2025 and will enter service by 2028. The construction of the prototype will be completed by 2023, after which the ground test will begin, followed by test flights. It is not known if the deadlines will be met. The Pak DP will also be equipped with anti satellite missiles. The new MiG 41 is definitely considered a step above the Su 57 fighters, and it will be rather more similar in concept to the United States Air Force's upcoming sixth generation fighter jet being developed under their next generation air dominance NG 80 program. The FAXX 
The Naval Air Systems Command of the United States Navy has unveiled the first rendering of the potential FAX carrier-based fighter aircraft. The document also discusses the hypothetical differences between the FA-18EF Super Hornet and the sixth-generation air superiority fighter. According to Steve Trimble, the FAX picture features canards and what appears to be the Rotor Vader tailplanes, both of which were present on the YF-23 technology demonstration. Notional or not, the illustration is significantly different to previous FAX illustrations, which showed tailless Dorado-shaped designs. The Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD According to the Secretary of U.S. Air Force, the Next Generation Fighter Platform is still in the design phase and has not yet officially reached the engineering, production, and development stages. The NG-80 claims to develop several key technologies in areas such as propulsion, stealth, advanced weapons, digital design, and thermal management of the aircraft's signature. The service is still designing the NG-80, and the program has not yet gone through the milestone B review process. As the service takes its initial design and works on system integration, manufacturing processes, and other specifics before production, that milestone denotes the end of a program's technology maturation phase and the official commencement of an acquisition program. The fact that NGAD has not yet started the EMD phase or even concluded the design process suggests that initial operating capability may not be achieved before the end of the decade. Air Force Secretary Frank Candle withheld the price of each plane, but it is anticipated to be in the hundreds of millions. Francis Kendall predicted that the plane would be expensive. And that's it for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.